Hi, everyone. Play. And I Hams. Why? I need lost that because oh my god, it was. And. I am um then I this Uh, so going to rats. That's both. Oh, there we go, finally. Can you hear me now? Uh, hopefully you can hear me now. And it's not going in and out, but let, let me organize the sound settings. Okay, hopefully you can hear me better now. Okay, good. Right, so I've just changed microphone settings. I do apologize, it changes from time to time. Oh, I see we have the spammers in the chat already today. <laughs> um, so if you have been following along, this is Xanthia. She's a character from Legend of Kyrandia 1. She's one of many wizards. In Legend of Kyrandia 1... Oh, I need to get away from this snoring. Let's go there for a second. In Legend of Kyrandia 1, um, all of... There was a jester who kind of went crazy. A jester wizard person called Malcolm who went crazy. And Brandon, who uh lived with his grandfather did not know that he was actually the royal prince um his parents had been dead for a while and he was tasked with having to defeat malcolm and he ended up defeating malcolm um as we played through the game 
and he found out at the end of the game that he was indeed a prince or whatever so that was why he had to be the one but there were all these wizards who were losing their magic Xanthi was one of them right and that was part of the whole thing now all the wizards are fr a bit frustrated right now because parts of Kyrandia, the land are disappearing so this tree there was a tree here it's disappeared I am frustrated because see these they're supposed to flash in a particular order and they do not like the winds flutter but yeah right that's it that that's all that happens the rest of them don't go and I'm like I don't know what the order is because it's part of a puzzle for and I'm worried we're never gonna get past this point because like I feel I've done everything else so she anyway she gets around by making potions um this was I believe a game made by if I'm correct Lucas Arts maybe I do not know anyway we have to now go talk to this guy You're just going through huge trouble making a potion. Oh, that was not what happened. The last time. She drank it and turned into a bit of a Medusa. Okay. Cool. We have an empty bowl. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is one of those puzzles. I feel that it's different each time. So if the goddamn fireflies don't work, um, you're supposed to click one and then it will go through and show you the sequence. But it only does like two of them, so I'm like very confused. If you do like that's the sequence that's it just does one and you're supposed to go by not how many times it flutter or flutters because some of them are fluttering at the same time you know they only click one thing at a time um see I'm just clicking around to see if there's anything else I can do here before. But I don't think so. Yeah, this is really weird. I started I, last week. I was scribbling away trying to work out. So they're not flashing. Mm-hmm. 
it changes. It's not consistent. It's not consistent because the very first one after orange, the very first time I clicked that was this. Hmm. So whenever I look for a walkthrough Um... Hmm. The issue with this is they all assume that this thing is going to work. Okay. Well, 
Right, so we have to... Okay, so if you click this Firefly, for example, this is the starting point, orange. Okay. So, the first one is orange. Okay, so then... So if we click that, it, it, it's the purple next, and then we have to click them in order. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so then light blue. Okay, so then we have to... Okay, then it's dark blue. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Click, click, click. Okay, and a green. Okay. Okay, two, a okay, now. Okay, so now we go in. Okay, now this is dark blue, so I'm just going to label them on my page so I know which one to click first. Or edge, it's yellow. Uh, blue. That's green. Light blue, and then this is red. Okay, now. Oh, orange, oh. oh. Light blue, where are you? Dark blue. Then the green, then the yellow, then the... Okay, here we go. And I see we have two. Okay. Okay, moldy cheese. So we have this spell book. Um, we've done this one, which is the potion that we just used to um get rid of the rat. Just I think. This is one of the things that we need to do, but these are not um, direct, uh, I shall say, direct recipes because some of these things were substituted. Um, 
I guess now we go back. What is this thing? What do you do with this thing? I can't exactly look at anything. What am I going to use cheese for? Okay. Yep. So we've got an alchemist mag, and we've got musical box done. So, trying to get these guys out of their boat seems to be nigh impossible at this point, but maybe this is what we do. I don't want to give them the cheese, because they might eat it. Because they eat a lot of my other things. So I have to turn lead into gold a bit, I guess. So have I found anything that's lead? Maybe this magnet. I mean, the, this chain itself is not going to be made out of lead. Is there anything else? Or? I mean, it might be. That might be the thing that's made out of lead. Sneaky suspicion it probably is. Okay. Mm. Okay, I'm kind of doing that. Hello. Always look in a tree stump. Hmm. So this is Dante's house. What am I going to do with moldy cheese? So this is like her usual house that's been kind of pulled apart um, while she was away. Somebody's trying to, basically she has to go to the center of the earth or something to get some artifact in order to prevent everything in Kyra India disappearing. So, um, I'm just trying to figure out what the heck we need. We need to get on this boat, basically. What the hell do we change into lead? Or like, what, is, what do we have that's lead-based? Not sure we have a lot, to be exact. I think it's the chain, but I'm not sure how we go about getting it. Local fishermen. Okay. Yeah. 
if you go that way, there's just a crocodile and um, some hot springs. Oh, well, yeah, it's the chain. So now I have to catch a fish for them. Okay. Mm. Not sure how I'm gonna catch anybody any fish. Okay, so maybe this is what it is, because usually they eat anything I give them. Okay, where do I go to get hold of them? I think I have to go downstream to that dock. There you go. Oh, this one do not need to go. Oh! Oh, well that was easy. Oh, Jesus. Nothing is ever easy, so this is the mailman. Mate, I think it lost you already. Uh, okay, let's go look for letters. I just, why did I have this anchor then? I'm just confused. Letters. Yeah, here's one. I don't think there'll be one in here, but you should always... Nope, there's no one in here.
Don't see any other letters here. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> If I ever made an adventure game, these are the kind of adventure games I'd want to make, you know, um... Hope you guys didn't eat anything. After all that trouble. Okay, so we can't go that way, we can't go that way, we can go down, we can go down and that way, okay. Good to know, okay.
Yep, could probably go to eat that somewhere. At least it is. Mm, maybe something like this. I don't know. And let's go up and go to the right. <laughs> okay, so the cutscene that you just saw was one of the fellow magicians and his new assistant, the hand glove thing. It's actually the hand glove thing that's responsible. Yeah, Marco. Marco is the wizard. Shush. Um, the hand fellow, the hand glove thing is actually what's causing all the chaos right now. Um, stealing things and making the parts of the land disappear and all that. But Marco doesn't know this because he's daft as a brush. Keeps wanting to help. Is Anthea. Right. Like, and I think this is um, the hand that has sent her on a wild goose chase. So, yeah. Okay, so we can't get in. I think they want a permit.
I have to find a scarecrow or something for you to inhabit now? What the hell? I have to find a bottle to get... Okay, you stay right here. I will go find a bottle. Because I've got two, but I need an empty one. Don't be mean to the scarecrow. Okay. So we have to bring him here somehow. And I need an empty bottle. Okay, so if you need to grind something, we come back there. Ooh. Mm. Okay, sheep and ghosty stay here. I need to go see what has happened with the water fountain thing. Hmm. Do I have to do something else?
everybody is very uh, laid back in Kyrandia. When Brandon was on his mission, the mystics were very like, hey, we'll try and help you, but don't get any kind of thing. I think you have to aim the hose. So let's see if we can aim the hose at something. Is this part of uh, ground wheat lettuce? She's mustard. Where did we get the mustard? Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so we have to go up here and I think get the wheat from the wheat fields, maybe? I'm not quite sure if I can click any of these. Got one. Okay, let's go down. Let's go grind this wheat. Would you? Hmm. Sure. Yeah. All this for sandwiches. So I did that because we can, the reason I tossed the dragon tears out is because we can always make him cry again, but I think perhaps the next step is to get this ghost into a bottle, so. And then put him in the scarecrow's body.
Okay, I wanted to get a stick to jam the thing with, but that doesn't seem... Oh. Okay. I cheer. How many horseshoes do we need now? Well, that's very nice, but where, where do I get anything to put into the cheese? No, we're gonna... Didn't find any mustard. going to do with wool? Add to you too, I still don't know what I'm going to do with you. Um, I do not know. There's something with a lucky horseshoe. Sweet and sour sauce. Rapid footprint. Captain, <laughs> it's all <laughs> together. Okay, okay. There we go. That's sorted. Can I go inside the house or don't they? Okay. <sighs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Is there something we can do here? No, it's no. Okay, so I have to go back and do all of that again. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, let's go here. Let's make it. What are you going to magnetize? Okay. 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 Rabbit footprint. Hmm. I'm gonna go try. Can I try the mine? At this point, it's gonna be a salad. Hmm. 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 How do I stop this dash thing? She won't break off. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. This is a sheepy. Oh. Can I please get the cheese? So if you have cheese now, 
that that we got vinegar, lettuce, radish, cheese. We do not have ever have mustard. I don't know what we're supposed to be using the magnets for. Is it some play on words? I'm a little bit confused. Is anyone else confused? Because I have so many. I want to. I want to get this stick out of the ground, but it won't come out of the ground. I don't think we can, can I get this bit of I need one stick, any stick, any solo stick whatsoever, but no. Hmm. Take a bit stuck. Okay. So it's going to give me into the dragon, apparently. Okay. Now I need to go back, I think. Okay, so we are going to put the ground grain that we just got. Let's clear this first. Okay. Then we need to go get Okay, now what do we do? Throw lettuce into the cauldron, all right. <laughs> um 
We still need to go get another wheat stock for some reason, I'm not sure why. Alright, I'm not sure why we're not going to actually use it. Uh, right, go to radish section. So, put the red. Right, now we need to add. Okay. The vinegar to the radish to create mustard. There we add mustard. Right. Then put cheese in. Okay. Uh, so we have sandwich potion then use to get the sandwich okay Make sure you pick up it. Okay. Um. Okay. Right. So we need to now go here and do this whole thing with the water. Right. Right. Okay. Right, we got Dragon Tears back again. Um Right, walk to middle walk. Okay. So now, we've magnetized things, we've got all reptile tears and things, so now we can go into the city. Hmm. Okay. Need to flush the cauldron. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's let's go into this. Mm-hmm. 
I'm gonna plug in my phone. So I just wanna see like how long I've been streaming for. Uh one hour, twelve minutes. Okay. Because at one at some point I might actually um end up having to organize stuff for dinner. See what we're gonna have for dinner. Mm. I have mochi. Yum yum yum. Green tea mochi. Um. I also have to decide when I'm gonna stop and when I'm going to like maybe do some work afterwards. Okay. It's not talking to us anymore. This is some sort of sound puzzle, clearly. Do I have to give him this letter? Maybe I should. Hmm. Wait. Do we have to go give it to him? Let's go here. Let's see what's down this way. Mm -hmm. What piece of parchment? What piece of parchment? I'm a little bit confused. Okay. Teddy bear potion. Trance potion. Sea water, eye of nude, citrus extract. Okay. Oh god, this hand. Well, you found it. Okay, so, um, I think I'm going to stop the game here and go pick up next week with the Legend of Kyra and Deer. Um, And see what we can do from here on. But thanks for watching this part. I am going to maybe live stream in a bit, in a couple of minutes with like, um, some with some um, work related stuff. Maybe I don't 
no. I was kind of just going to continue, but I realized I actually have to stop and organize dinner first. So, I'm going to go do that. So, yeah, I will see you guys in a bit. Thank you. And uh, thank you, Tiara, for banning the spamming person in chat. Um, I will be right back, I believe. Hello, hello, hello. Hi everyone, I am back. I'm going to see if I can change the... Uh, if I could change what I'm doing. I think I can. I don't think it'll muck up anything. Mm -hmm. And also, hello to Bing, Con Bing Cortana and Dr. Lucy Love who are online and in the chat for some reason. So I can't see you in the chat. Say hi. Feel free to say hi. Um. What am I going to work on right now? So this is always complicated a little bit by the fact that um, I have a work account on my computer and I have this other account for games and stuff that I stream from. So when I do work-related streams, <laughs> half the things are saved on another, on another account entirely. So it's a little bit weird. It is a little bit weird. I'm wondering if I can access Word from here. I think I should be able to. Should go across. Oops. All um. So one of the things I wanted to do. I have a lot of things that I need. To be fair. But one of the things I
Yes. Opening up, I open up word on the ground, it seems to want to open it up online. Um, just very annoying. Okay. Mm. Ooh, ooh, all right. So I want to just show you what I am doing even now. Let me see if I can. So this is the story I just wrote. Um, I'm gonna see. So let me pull up Brave first, and then so it never works. This thing never wants to. Please. Mm -hmm. um, I am just trying to figure out how to make this dash thing. Okay. There we go. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm going to open a new document in Word. Now oh, this is going to be online. Install Office, please. Hmm. Technically, it should be like installed already on my system, but it's not. So I'm not going to do this right now. I am going to talk about. Oh, so one of the things with freelance journalism is that there are newsletters. Now I found this new one. You know, that you have to sign up to via Patreon. Uh, it is uh, apparently a really good one. Uh, now, I have logged in on Patreon. I don't know why it's logged me out. But I should be logged in. 
Now I have to do this all over again and I did not want to excuse. I should be logged in on Patreon. Mm -hmm. I'm out of way. I am the creator. Hello, excuse me. Oh, I, I don't know why it logged me out. And this is not something I want to be doing right now. Yeah, look, I don't want to be fussing about with this right now. But that um, right jobs plus one was... Um, was uh, a new newsletter that I found that it does a lot of call outs for pitching purposes. So this draft has been written, it has also been and sent. Or what I wanted to do was write this I write the draft now in order to do this like I kind of went with my own style for this um this one has a set style so we are going to go find the example that I was sent um so here we have back issues of the bulletin magazine. Alright, this is the latest issue. You can read it. And it's going to be useful to, to read it because this is the cover. Um, so the bulletin is... Uh, The bulletin basically uh, is um, set up so that it's, it's an industry magazine for a needle safety providers. They call them NSPs, but basically the, pe the people who provide uh, safe spaces for treatment and for uh, needle sharing needle use when um, people who have drug use require needles and things like that so oh i using so this editorial blah 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 that's fine oh, okay i don't know why it's doing it this way but okay that's good okay so this is what it's laid out like online um, it is actually that easy. So one of the things with... See, this is such a great piece. I'm just reading it and I'm like, oh my god. Such a great piece. Okay, so... They want subheadings. That's interesting. They want subheadings. I have to break up the text. They want. They said they wanted a breakout box. I'm having trouble actually getting people to interview. I've read about Silk Road, Red Private Roberts. Um. So I don't have this book anymore. I don't think. But back when I worked as a book reviewer for the West Australian, I got an actual brilliant non-fiction book to read, which was all about the drug trade. And one of the biggest problems in regulating drug trade, especially harmful drugs, is the fact that um, you spend a lot of time trying to create a law that 
or trying to update the law, right? And so, but when you're identifying which drugs are going to be banned by a law, it's based on chemical structure and composition. And these are very complex. They're complexly put together drugs, but they're actually sometimes very simple to manufacture, right? Uh, and you can do it in the months, you know, back room somewhere. And you can make drugs that are technically not illegal because the particular chemical structure of that drug that you've made is not covered in the law as one of the drugs that's illegal, right? But it might have the same effects as one of the drugs that is covered. So people are always trying to make new versions and they're able to make new versions faster than legislation and, and um, can keep up with covering all the different uh, variations and varieties and stuff, right? So, like, oh, I am going to replace this bond, chemical bond, with another chemical bond in the molecule. So, and that makes it very different, and that makes it a completely different compound, technically, that other, other than the one legislated for. Um, yeah, and then it's not covered by the legislation, and it therefore hard to A, track down, and B, to then mount a case, per se. So, it's, um, very difficult. Uh, so this is very interesting. They're talking about how drugs get marketed and things like that. I'm really interested in this. It's a very sort of fascinating subject to write about because it's not as clear cut and dry as everyone thinks it is right on the face of it this is such an interesting article on on the silk road forum and using tor and the dark web to buy and sell drugs So, the reason I wanted to look at this is I wanted to look at the style of it. I think I've got a general idea. I did look at this when I first got the beef as well, first started talking to them. Now, I'll open it up online because then I can probably get hold of it as well that way. Though I don't like using the OneDrive version. Um, let's see if you guys can see that. No, you can't. Okay. I have got office. Yes. I have got office. Why are you telling me something I already knew? Yep. Um, just want to show me that. So hopefully you can see that. Okay, so. This is not going to be a perfect draft, but it's going to help me get my ideas down as well. And I need, my brain has been very full of Baladonia and very full of Afghan refugee and the migration. <laughs> so now I need to write about people with drug use, people who use drugs rather. Uh, and I need to get my head around it, but like, so I need to start jotting stuff down. 
and then once I start jotting stuff down, um, you can mix, play around with it, and work out what you're gonna need. A headline eventually, and then file, line, um, I need an intro, shouldn't. I think in uh oh that's Australian reference to um and to increase its a pen it wasn't prepared oh. to handle uh -huh. I think that's fair to say we're overloaded oh. I actually have two doctors I could interview oh I'm so daft I have two doctors I could interview I'm calling on my Favors in from Uh, I'm gonna say it's access. This group. A lot of this, like people already know. The people who are reading this are people in the industry, so itself. So this is a little. Far too dumbed down version, I think. But then, like, let, let's let's start here. Start here, and then, like go from here. Um, I might make this bigger so you guys can see. I also can see myself. Okay, All right. Um, so that you're not struggling to stay at the screen. Uh. Hmm. Like a lot of people have used substance use disorders, and I am not sure of the terminology. So, um, but uh.
Wait, 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 wait. Not sure of exactly the uh, correct term for the illnesses and conditions. So I'm just going to put illnesses and conditions and I'll come back to that. Uh, okay. His seat and he not over um. uh, okay. concerned. Able to just okay. Anti vaccination stance. Right now, these are just more dot points than anything else.
I think once I also have these points though, I can then tell the need to, like, I can work out what the sections of each thing of the story are going to be, and then I can work out what's gonna go where. <laughs> I need to figure out remember the history. Putting in the blanks, which I can't remember the names right at the moment, like, but they, I have their names. Um, uh, trying to put down what I do remember and get it out of my brain.
Maybe we can relax here. Something, something.
a lot of this is going to change. This is just me putting down all the information that's in my head. I want to have a quote here as well to start it. I like starting off with a quote or a stat or something to grab people. Let me see if I could save it actually in maybe I can uh -huh. maybe I can after all save it here okay um Okay, so it is now eight o'clock, and I've been live for two hours. And I need to go eat, and I also need to not have this light shining in my face because my eyes are getting tired. And then I'm gonna have a family call, so I'm gonna take a break now. And just do something for myself. Um, yeah, but I'm sorry for not streaming on Wednesday, Thursday, and, and t today at noon. It has been a roller coaster. Um, hopefully, I could stick to the live stream times a little bit better next week. Um, and organize my life a little better next week. Um, because we are coming to the tail end of a month, which is going to be very interesting so um and i've got some ideas of what i can i can't do next month so yeah cool and i feel good that i've actually like started this put some stuff down got it out of my head um got like 564 <laughs> out of what is going to be about 1200 1500 piece so yeah I will see you tomorrow. Please come tomorrow for 7.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be playing Great Ace Attorney Chronicles 2. And we're going to be playing Case 2. I believe because we finished Case 1. So yeah, it's going to be very exciting. Please come and join us tomorrow. And I will see you. Yeah. Bye.